If you're in the audience to see a group called the Booby Sisters, don't expect to see an X-rated burlesque show. These 12 performers from Plattsburgh, New York, sing to promote a healthy attitude with the healing power of humor. <laughs> The fact that we're survivors is, is critical for our performance. I gave my breasts a checkup without no clothes. I did it in the shower upon my toes. A lot of our music says, you know, we have to laugh at the things that can be very difficult in life. These performers embrace humor, but none of them wanted to feel something funny during a self-examination. When I found felt a lump, um, I knew I needed to have it looked at. Uh, it was a little scary. I gave my breasts a checkup, I touch and go. Clinton County legislator Sarah Rowden and the rest of these performers have all received unwelcome medical news, a positive diagnosis for breast cancer. It felt like I stepped out of my body and that it was happening somebody else. Me, but somebody else. Um, I thought I was going to die. Rowden had always enjoyed an active lifestyle of working, snowboarding, and biking in Plattsburgh, New York. But she faced the end of the road if she didn't have a breast removed. Being a woman, it's part of our body. For most of us, it's part of our sexuality. And this was going to be a big change. But I knew that, that my life was more important than my vanity. During the treatments, Rowden says her strength came from her loved ones and from humor. Many friends, people would say, what can I do for you? What do you need? What do you want? What can I, how can I help? And I'd say, send me funny movies, funny books, send funny cards. I said, because I want to laugh. And they did. Rowden has passed along her movies and books to other cancer patients. You want to help others. And to me, I'm going to give them my funny stuff. Dr. Paolo Fadi of Plattsburgh says Rowden enhanced her treatments by asking for humor. He applauds her efforts to sprinkle the lives of other patients with laughter. Humor is very important with patients with cancer because by laughing, by enjoying themselves, they can actually um, help them fighting depression. They can help them coping with the bad news and accepting their disease and fight uh, while they are going through extensive chemotherapy or radiation when they will have to suffer with pain. Humor has been shown to alleviate some of the pain. Humor is critical to um, recovery. When Rowden and local Red Cross director Jeannie Roberts were asked to speak at a breast cancer event in 2003, the two public figures saw a chance to do something different. Roberts had used her own sense of humor to battle both breast cancer and colon cancer, but neither woman wanted to just give a speech. You know, we thought, that we would do rap. <laughs> and we quickly realized that white women over the age of 50 were not born with the rap gene. An online search led them to some funny songs written by breast cancer survivors and other women dealing with aging and changing. Rowden and Roberts asked for backup and a group was formed, the Booby Sisters. I'm perimenopausal. I still can't remember squat. Might as well talk about it, might as well laugh about it, because 
how else are you going to deal with it? Now the 12 member Booby Sisters perform several times a year in New York State and Vermont. I had one woman call me a couple years ago after a performance and said, you ought to give out Depends at the door when you start, because that's how funny you are. The songs also make light of temperature swings that are intensified by some cancer medications. In the middle of the winter, I would be standing outside on the deck in my flip-flops and shorts watching the TV because I would be so hot. And sometimes when you can laugh about those things that aren't much fun to go through, it makes it a little bit easier. So excuse me while I have a hot flash honey. I relate to the freezer door with the hot flash at the, at grocery, the grocery store. store open yeah. When I'm at the grocery store, I'm sticking my head in the freezer door. Pretending you're looking for ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm here. I'm going to melt this stuff. <laughs> Since they sing along with pre-recorded vocals, having a great voice isn't a requirement for sisterhood, but being a breast cancer survivor is. And I'm Elena Patno, and I'm a survivor of seven years and five months. And I'm Karen White. I'm a survivor of seven years, 10 months, 18 days. Many of their audience members are cancer patients in need of humor and hope. When we're up there and people know that we are survivors of breast cancer, they, they see that there is a life after breast cancer. We've all, you know, been there, done that, and this is how we can come out of it and make other people smile and laugh. It was nice to see how many patients from the audience could actually relate to the things that um, the booby sister were saying while they were on stage. Thady spoke after the sisters once and enjoyed their performance. And now they were able to share with us um, those sad story, putting some humor to them, uh, discussing their loss of hair, the difficulties they have with their husband and their uh, families. They also show inspiration, I think, for other women that may go through similar problems. I am currently going through treatment, so I am not quite over with my, um, with my struggles, but it has been, you know, day by day, week by week. The Booby Sisters really touched with their humor and some of the songs that they were singing definitely touched with the medical issues. So definitely uh, enjoyed the laughter of that. You laugh, you cry, um, you get very emotional when you watch them, but I have enjoyed every performance that I've ever seen of them. I had a, um, a man come up to me after a performance and he told me that his wife had just been diagnosed with breast cancer six months prior. And watching our performance, he said it was the first time that he had seen her laugh and smile since she was first diagnosed. That's all the thanks I need. Music performed by the Booby Sisters comes courtesy of Lisa Koch. Her website is heylisa.com. Patton friends from St. Cloud, Minnesota also contributed music.